in today's video i'm going to do yet again an unboxing for you guys um i've been eyeing for it on it for a long long time even though it was an impulsive thing to buy it was still like kind of planned you know so i was also triggered by the price and by like you know the discount mainly the the discount i was like hmm yeah that looks nice but they don't have it in the color that i want well let's try another color because it will be still cute right but as you can see in the title i bought a acne studio scarf and i'm also going to show you guys a few ways to tie your scarf around your neck to keep yourself warm i'm actually buying a scarf to keep myself warm for when i'm like wearing these kinds of tops like these angles these angled kind of tops so yeah it really comes in hand and it's really nice to have a warm scarf so with no further ado let's open it up i hope you cannot see my address but yeah let's go why am i never preparing a, a knife so soft oh my god hmm. i'm just going to sleep on it tonight well it's just a simple scarf it says acne studios like in the corner it's just in the corner <laughs> um like the label and the price tag it was actually original a does it 120 euros but it was on discount so it was 85 euros still expensive but you know i like a big ass scarf that is really wide so you can like like wear it like this or just like throwing it on and like bye you know so i really like this oh i also really like this but yeah it's just a simple scarf it's made out of wool i believe let's check the label out it's made in italy you cannot watch it it's a hundred percent wool um they don't recommend you like they are like actually like saying that you cannot wash it in your washing machine but it's logical i believe well not for everyone because last time i shrank my own woolen sweater but it's a start for another time anyways it's dry clean only and it's it's really big i really love that it's like 200 centimeters by 45 i believe it's like really big it's like a small what's it called like a bed sheet bed sheet no it's not like a bed sheet it's just like a sleeping i you know i already own a sleeping bag a sleeping bag from uniqlo that really big big ass like that coat you know it really matches well because now i have a sleeping bag and a and a blanket to cover me up so it's really nice but yeah let's go further in with how you wear or tie a scarf just a disclaimer you can do this with any scarf any size of scarf it doesn't have to be so wide as mine it can also be like a smaller one or like a slimmer one it doesn't have to be such a wide one as mine so you can do this with any scarf you want just try it on and stay cozy 
Um, but with no further ado, this is the first one. And I will show you in a bit how you do it. Well, this is the first one. It's a really easy one. It's really cozy, looks really classy, but also really practical because when you're on your bike or when you're like walking, the wind won't like fly away your scarf because sometimes that will happen and now it's secured and it looks really warm around your neck. It's really nice, not suffocating, but really nice. So here's how you do it. I will first undo him. So you start with this. You cross over. You flip the long part over your head. You have you know, like a small hole. You pull it through. That's how you do it. It's not as pretty as I put it before, but the point is it's just like this. The next one is a really easy one. I think everyone knows this and uses this, but it's just a very casual one. That you can just throw over literally I think a lot of people actually use this one I use this especially when I'm like wearing a long coat it looks really chic because you're basically just like holding a short side then turn it over I most of the time will spread the scarf for a bit that's why I like those wide scarves and just like throw it over again so it's like more covered and when I'm like wearing a trench coat or a long coat, it looks really nice. It's really simple, it's really normal, it's not really secure but it's a good way because it's really warm, slightly suffocating but really nice. The third one is, yeah it is what it is. It does it isn't the most prettiest if you don't take time to do it because mine is just like really easy and comfy right now but I always feel like a present because it kind of looks like a bow and the structure is also a bow I really like this one because it really secures you because it won't fly away it won't move you will slightly suffocate but it's all okay because it's really warm and really nice because you will cross over twice that's why it won't fly away that's what also i really like it uh most of the time i use this when i'm like wearing a puffer jacket or when i'm just wearing a sweater for example like this so i can just go out without being scared that i will catch a cold so that's why um i will show you how you do it you actually really easy it looks maybe a bit complicated but it really isn't well basically what you do is just like the last one you have a long piece and a shorter piece and you just cross under you flip it in you cross over the long set over your head and you hold it here and just pull it through again and now you're a present so it's really easy it's really it's really practical and it's like really warm it's really nice so yeah you know sometimes i feel like a superhero and i just do this I just throw it over my shoulders and I'm on the way, on the way to go. It's really easy when you're like running late and you still need to like put a scarf on. Just do it like this. It's really functional as in when you're running late, but it won't stay and it isn't secured. So be careful when the wind is like blowing really fast or really hard. 
be careful it will snatch your scarf but yeah with no further ado no with, with no further ado i think this is the last one because yeah the other way is to tie a scarf i think you already know all those see you next time